This is lesson 74 in the basic JavaScript section of Free Code Camp. Today we're looking at multiple identical options in switch statements. If the break statement is omitted from a switch statements case, the following case statements are executed until a break is encountered. If you have multiple inputs with the same output, you can represent them in a switch statement like this. And as you can see, case 1, case 2, and case 3 will result, will uh, update result to the string 1, 2, or 3. And then we have our break. Instead of having to add result and break in each one of these cases, we can actually just put it on the third one because whether they pass in a 1, whether they pass in a 2, whether they pass in a 3, we want this to be done. So cases for 1, 2, and 3 will all produce the same result. Instructions. Write a switch statement to set answer for the following ranges. 1 through 3, low, 4 through 6, mid, 7 through 9, high. Note you will need to have a case statement for each number in the range. So sequential sizes 1, 2, and 3 should return low, 4, 5, 6, mid, 7, 8, 9, high, and you should have 9 case statements. So over here, we're only going to change code below this line, so we're doing a, a switch statement. So we do switch, and it's going to take test val. So depending on what they pass in for val we wanted to do different stuff but case one two and three we want to uh, answer assign low or assign low to answer so we can do case one case two case 3 and then we would do is it answer what is it that they want us to do yes answer of course that's what's this empty string right now so if they pass in 1 2 or 3 we want to update answer to low semicolon break so now we do case 4 case 5 case 6 and if they pass in one of those numbers we're going to make it right now mid the capitals yes one second pause that okay so let's not forget our break and now if they pass in our last choices it's seven or case 8 or case 9 if they do any of those we want to update answer to be high so we should be doing what they're asking us to do and then we return answer so that should work right now with one passed in we should get back a low uh, we did use nine cases so that should be it for this lesson let's run test and as you can see we got low and if we were to do three we should also get low 
so that that's working. 3 gets passed in to our function sequential sizes. And then it runs this in here. It initializes answer to an empty string. And then we make our switch statement, which pat takes val, which is 3. And it will replace, we'll try to find a match with one of our cases. It finds the 3 and then it runs until a break is encountered. So it updates answer to low. And that's it for this lesson.